I had something called the Winston Churchill Travelling Fellowship. Uh, I, I was going to go to various countries, but the reason for going to Czechoslovakia was to meet with Václav Havel, whose plays we had done in my theatre since 1977. Uh, and, uh, just before I was going, the, the, the whole thing blew up. The demonstration on Friday the 17th of November happened. I arrived on the Tuesday, and so, in a way, what I had gone for, which was to meet with Harville, was rather changed. I found I was in the middle of those, um, all those activities, and so decided to get involved as much as I could. Gate crashed press conferences, and uh, uh, went to the Balustrade Theatre and met with Jan Grossman there, and was on the stage at the debates and the meetings that were going on, as I did as much as I could to go and see other people. Um, but I went to the demonstrations, of course, on the on Wednesday Square, uh, and also went to press conferences, which I managed to. I wasn't a journalist, but I had this card with a picture of Winston Churchill on it and so I pretended it was a uh, something official that would get me in and uh, it did to begin with it didn't the second day my experience was was one of a, a huge excitement and involvement in what seemed a very good-natured revolution obviously a very serious revolution and this feeling at the beginning as might the Russians react might something happen the tanks had moved in in 68 what was going to happen but quickly it became apparent that that wasn't going to happen, that, that Gorbachev wasn't responding. And of course, the wall had come down in Berlin not long before, and things had been happening in Poland and Hungary and East Germany. And then in, in Czechoslovakia, it moved very quickly, indeed, from one thing to another, and you, you didn't know what was going to happen next, and nor did the poor Civic Forum. Uh, you know, they, were, they were making it up as we go along. And, uh, and Havel said, he said publicly, I think, you know, we're in the middle of a revolution and we're amateurs. And, and when I did get to see him and meet him in his flat, that's what he said. I'm, I'm sorry, we'd be rather, I'd be very tied up, but we're, we're in the middle of a revolution and we're amateurs. And they were, they were making it up and didn't know how the authorities were going to react at, at any point. And there was there were the students and there were the actors and there were the workers and there was the, there was the big strike that had been announced. So I did as much as I could and, and my wife joined me halfway through and we, we, as I say, went to press conferences, went to the happenings in theatres. I missed the big rally, the big rally at Letna. It was so bloody cold and my shoe leaked and I had to go and buy some boots when my wife arrived. We went to had great fun in a, big, in a Czech store buying boots, which was a different experience from buying shoes in England. But uh, no, it was, it was very exciting and you were living from moment to moment. And for someone working in the theatre, where you can sometimes seem to f be feeling that you're in a rather a frivolous occupation, playing games of make-believe and dressing up in funny clothes and pretending to be somebody else, suddenly this My Little Theatre since 1977 had got involved with Havel and his plays and Czech politics and now this and it made your life seem significant in some way. You, you were in the middle of something important and witnessing something that was over and above and deeper than the normal things that you were doing. So it was, it was a very exciting times. First it seemed as though it was completely going to thwart the reason I was going to go there. I mean, the reason I th was there was to discuss his plays with him and talk to him about the theatre, um, uh, which of course he hadn't been able to participate in for some considerable time. Uh, but uh, uh, and I did get to, to meet him, which was very kind of him. He was busy. Um, and it was... Uh, through the good offices of Jan Grossman, the uh, artistic director of the Balustrade Theatres, a Bradley Theatre, where he had first worked and worked with Grossman. And eventually he rang us and said, 5.45, go to his flat. <laughs> and we did. But to meet with him, a playwright, rather than a president. <laughs> I just brought in photographs that were taken when we did get and had a talk in his flat. Um, I, I, I was at the press conference when the, end, when the uh, resignation of the Politburo uh, was announced and champagne came out and Dubček and Havel and uh, 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 others uh, toasted having tea with Havel, picture of that. Uh, various pictures of the demonstrations and other people on the... On the so, and I, I met with Pavel Landowski at the Balustrade Theatre, who was a chartist, of course, and the people rattling one's keys and the cheering and clapping. I mean, the, the enthusiasm as things...
developed and rolled on was infectious and wonderful. And uh, so sh shaking my keys in, oh, both of my wife and I, shaking our keys in Wenceslas Square uh, and cheering along with everyone, although we didn't understand what people were saying uh, when they were speaking in Czech, of course. Uh, but, uh, but the press conference we did, because Rita Klimanova was translating things so well, and the journalists were mostly not Czech speakers, so, so uh, they had to be. The translation was very important. So it was exciting to feel that one was involved in world affairs. Thank you.